Hello there, and welcome back to my vanilla survival series with me, Trianus. How's everyone doing today? I hope you're good. I'm doing fairly well, although I'm a little bit late this morning, so hopefully we'll still have time for a good recording. Anyway, well, if you call my recording's good anyway. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, uh, let's uh, get on with today's episode. So, uh, one thing majorly that has changed uh, is that I have installed Optifine. So we get these nice clouds and this little mist in the background and a few other uh, enhancements as well. Let me know what you think to me having Optifine installed. Uh, so, I have also been uh, busy working. There you go, see, I've uh, already started constructing the castle. You can see a little bit of a glimpse there. Uh, I've done quite a bit, probably a little bit too much for off-camera work, but considering it is just basically wall work and the flat wall work as it is, uh, then I didn't particularly think it'd be too interesting to record or to even do a montage on because all it is is placing bricks over and over again, uh, as you can see. So yeah, I don't, you know, it is 50-50. Some people may want to have seen it, other people would have not. So uh, for this little part, I decided not to show it. Uh, I also made a gate here, uh, which looks fairly well. This is spruce wood but this is oak wood because I did try it with the spruce wood logs but as you can see and I can zoom in now watch us <laughs> uh, the spruce woods are actually kind of dark so uh, it kind of makes more mixes more with the oak logs than it does with the spruce sp logs spruce and oak so yeah uh, so yeah this is the main gate now it's got a door here for me to get in and out now what I'm thinking, this is for my immersion, I don't know if you would agree or not, but basically, if need be, they can open this gate up and let large amounts of people in and out. But when there's only one person coming in and out, like myself, all they have to do is open the door, instead of having to open the main gate every single time, okay? Um, I did kind of want the door to be, well, the gate, to be kind of opened-ish, but I couldn't quite get it right. Uh, I don't know, so I kind of gave up and did this. I mean, if you guys got any suggestions, feel free to let me know. Uh, you know, if you want to send me any pictures or anything via Twitter or anything, feel free, and I'll see if I can incorporate that as well. Uh, but yeah, like I said, the majority of it is just building with cobble bricks all the way around. And again, I have got B00's a texture pack installed, which is why I've got these smaller bricks as well as these larger bricks installed because when you pl plant them or place them down, you do actually get uh, different varieties. And all of these are just normal stone bricks and I can go through like that. And as you can see, there's one just there. So yeah, okay. There's nothing special about it, there's no mods, it's just the texture pack itself. Right, so, actually I want some of these guys, uh, so I want you and you, and a little bit of you, because you may have noticed when we first walked in, I did do a little bit of detail work, not a great deal, I was trying to sort it out, uh, and this is what I came up with uh, just uh, a little bit of an extra wall because this is why there's dirt on the outside of the wall uh, is to get that little bit of 3D look 3D look in a 3D world yes um, so you've got that little depth that's the word I'm looking for more than 3D the depth uh, and then these little slots of four windows maybe uh, but yeah, this is what I'm basically going to be building on this side. Uh, I did um and ah about using cobblestone instead of brick on brick, 
but the brick did look a lot better i even asked one of my friends on skype what he thought and he agreed the brick did look better than the cobblestone in this so let me just grab some dirt because i'm gonna need some uh, scaffolding and um, we can get to the top of the walls and we'll do that in a bit after we've done that and i'll show you the rest of what i've done so uh, as you can see there's dirt here but like i say this is where any extra depth will actually be so uh what did i do here this goes up uh to roughly there and then what was it I'm trying to remember what i did because it was over the weekend that i did this uh, then we'll get some stone slabs and just grab another dirt here there we go and we'll put that onto there now is that too high <laughs> see i am i'm good at this um too high so hard to tell sometimes so let me just do a little bit of measuring here uh, no it's actually right okay good it looked too high to me but yeah right so uh, then one was it was another one of these guys uh, nope not there get back here thank you uh, then another one and then it was a normal brick come back here well you can disappear I'm not bothered about you then again too high as such it just all goes two now this one goes one I think this one just goes like that and then we can use normal bricks and let's see two in the corner that's what I want uh, I am missing that one there there we go there we go that should be it and it should be the same I think I hope <laughs> uh, it wouldn't surprise me if it's not uh, but yeah that looks right that actually looks right good grief what happened there so let's actually get up there do a bit of work fill this in see I mean would you really would have what wanted to watch me do this for God knows how long uh doing the walls it's not the most exciting thing in the world is it and there we go that should be it apart from a couple of places that needs slabs uh now the good thing is i've run out of stone bricks but I don't need to worry too much about it because the stone slabs ones don't fit okay but normally they do actually go on top um, well, let me just make another slab normally they work <sighs> it makes a liar out of me every time I'm on recording so yeah why not so right that's that done so now i need to make these little port well they're not portholes are they uh these window type areas so they're fairly easy to make uh, i just need to make sure i get them in the right corner so that goes there so what we need for this area are just some stairs nice and easy to make there and there as you can see they're facing away so you get this nice little gap here which is kind of cool uh, and then let's see it's roughly here I think it was and then we'll just knock out three and oops nope we need to knock out one more no is that right oh 
I need to fix this area. I keep falling down. Um, let's have a look. I don't think that's quite right. I think I need to go over one more. I think. And do that and that. Is that right? Yeah, that looks more like it. So, let's get rid of this. Enjoy the night sky with Optifine, because I think that's absolutely gorgeous. That really is. I like the, the orangey reds of the sunset and then the moon coming up. <laughs> Very cool. But, unfortunately, we're going to have to... Oh, look at that night sky. Isn't that gorgeous? Ah, I like Optifine. <laughs> well, I do on vanilla anyway. I don't normally use it on modded. It seems to mess me up on modded Minecraft stuff. Right, anyway, let's unfortunately sleep the night away because unfortunately the mobs will come out uh, and destroy everything. So let's just have a quick run and check that. Oh, there's one of the mobs now, but this time I have actually got my bow. So let's see. A little bit up. There we go. Burn and die. There we go. That's nice. We really need to get infinity on it, but on my bow, but we should be okay. So let's have a quick look from back here. And oh, there's another one. I don't want it sneaking up on me. Oh, there we go. I should do you. Are you going to die? No, you're not going to die this time. Okay. Fine. Oh, missed. Where's that first shot? Never mind. Um, right, so what do we think to that? Yeah, that looks better than me using the cobblestone. Like I said, I did put cobblestone here originally, but it did does not look as good. I'm kind of pleased I did that. I do want to introduce some different textures into this and not just have completely stone bricks uh, or stone slabs. So I may introduce some uh, wood and things into it a little bit more. Uh, but yeah, uh, I'm kind of pleased with that. But do let me know what you think as well. I'm always open to suggestions feedback and criticisms you know as long as you keep it reasonable so yeah let's have a look around so as i said i built everything up to a uh, decent level as you can see it uh, took me a little bit of time but uh the uh, main thing was actually trying to get this and I still don't really know how to sort this out because uh, I did change these as you can see from circles to squares same over there and I need to build these towers up uh, the thing is the wall I think from where I've actually got this dirt up I need to build the wall so it goes at a slant so we've got some staircases or something in it uh, but yeah, I'm still not 100% sure if this is how high these walls are going to be going. Because uh, obviously these towers are going to be uh, a bit bigger as well. Uh, I just need to get the height quite right. What's Jeremy up to down there? Good grief, he gets everywhere. Ah, let me just... What are you up to? Don't look at me like that. You got yourself down there. <sighs> and he's trying to lay eggs and all. Yes, he. Mm, right, anyway. Uh, but yeah, like I said, this side of the wall may need to go up at an angle or something to get this quite right because obviously this would need to be a proper wall. And then feed into the tower itself. Uh, also, I'm not too sure what to do with this lot. Should I dig it out or should I just cover it up? The easiest option would be to cover it up, but should I dig it out so we can go down as well as up? 
um, those are questions I need to ask myself and to you as well and a sheep as well Good grief these animals uh, also I need to get some torches down there because oh, we don't want mobs spawning in that area definitely not and then lastly obviously the other tower so uh, again I am still not sure which way to go uh, but I think with the, the wall being up now I can probably get a design for the castle up as well and find out where we're going with that because I may still need to dig out this little lot I'm hoping not but we'll see uh, it depends on how things have gone because for all these towers here and this main wall and things like that I have tried to go with the flow of the land uh, which is something I'm not used to doing but uh, whereas here is just basically everything that I dug out ages ago so yeah uh, so anyway, let me know what you think, uh, let me know about any comments, what you think to the gate, what you think to the, the pattern on top of the gate by the way, I don't know if you saw that, uh, and you know what you think to this and these things, should I add another one of these or another one of these somewhere or should I take them away or, or what, and you know another one could quite easily go here and down here or something like this uh, but yeah and then obviously there's be a pattern around these as well uh, just to make them a little bit thicker but uh, yeah that will do it for today's episode I think I think I've waffled on enough and you can see roughly the shape I'm going for now uh, so I hope that you enjoyed uh, if you did please remember to hit that like button and like I've said throughout the episode if you've got any hints tips or comments feel free to put that in the comment section below and if you just want to say hi that's good enough as well so but regardless thank you very much for joining me and I'll see you in the next episode bye